getting ready to go to work and it's a very very cold day we're sitting at uh, minus 25 celsius today so i'm going to uh, give you guys a range report cold weather like this so i start my smart car in the garage here uh, it's not heated but it is attached to the house so you get kind of the the ambient heat from the house so inside my garage here it's sitting at uh, it's about minus four by the looks of it there now another trick I like doing is I like to preheat the car I have one of these old car heaters I like throwing those in that'll preheat the car so that you don't need to uh, it just kind of helps with the electric heat Another quick thing I should mention, I'm running uh, winter tires on this. So on the back here, I have these uh, Blizzak tires. All right. Okay, I have a full charge on the battery here, as you can see. I'm gonna set my heat on to, I'm gonna go up to 26 for now. I'm gonna turn my heated seats on, so just for a moment to warm things up. Okay, I'm going to head off to work and we'll see what kind of charge we have after. And I have just under 45% battery. So I burnt a lot of extra juice. Normally I would do this run in somewhere between 30 to 35% charge. So, you know, running the heat, the cold weather, all this stuff, that really adds up. So I don't have enough to get home. I'm gonna go over to the, uh, the charging station later today and pick up a charge. Oh, right, I'm heading off to pick up a charge now. Okay, right, so I'm in the underground parking, and uh, we have a, this is a Siemens charge point station. I'm going to get my car plugged in, pick up a charge for about two and a half hours. Now, if it wasn't for this specific charging station, I actually wouldn't have been able to bought the electric car, because I wouldn't be able to, uh, to get to work in back on real cold days like this. So, real thankful for the Brook Street Hotel putting this charging station in there. They have four, so two charge points, and then two Tesla charging stations. Okay, done picking up a charge here. Looks like it cost me a buck ten. Two hours and twelve minutes. Yeah, total of buck ten. That's not too bad. All right, so I'm up to about uh, eighty percent there. Not quite. That's pretty good. Enough to get me home. Oh right, yeah, I'm heading home there now. Just left my office a few minutes ago, so I'm at uh, 43 kilometers, and I've already burnt off some charge, down under 70% there now. I was about 80 when I left, and uh, I currently have the heater on 23, uh, mid-speed, and uh, I turned the electric heaters off for the seats. Alright, we'll see how we do when we get home. So here's the final range report. I covered a distance of 71 kilometers. I burnt 26.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. 
and I'm at home and my battery is down to just a hair over 20. So I probably burnt close to 60% coming home. I burnt 55% going in this morning. So it took a total of 115% to travel 71 kilometers. So the cold certainly does have an effect on your overall range. So you got to keep that in mind uh, whenever you purchase one of these cars, whenever you're making uh, winter road trips. All right, thanks for watching, people. Uh, I hope you found that informative, and uh, stay tuned for more smart car videos.